हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फोर्थ पोर्ट पावर सप्लाई दिस इज एक्चुअली एस एम पी एस स्विच मोड पावर सप्लाई फॉर द रिपेयर पर्पज आई विल ओपन द पावर सप्लाई एंड शो यू द फुल सर्किट एंड कंपोनेंट्स एंड एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कंपोनेंट्स वट आर द कंपोनेंट्स हाउ इट वर्क एंड वट इज द पर्पज फॉर दिस कंपोनेंट्स एंड इफ देर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम how to check and how to repair initially in this video first video i will uh, discuss about the uh, primary side means high side where is we are applying 220 volts and after that uh, i will discuss about the secondary side output uh, 42 volt for hoverboard battery charging purpose here i have hoverboard battery a charger and uh, some other chargers Uh, power supply SMPS. So I will explain. Uh, in during this explanation, I will show the other battery chargers as some components are different. So I will explain that component also. SMPS switch mode power supply. Let's start first the uh, main input 220 volt. Then input filter rectifier, inverter, transformer, then rectifier output filter. Uh, in between there is a controller and uh, zero cross uh, detection everything i will explain you can see here uh, one overboard motor uh, that i was using before after that uh, uh, charger problem battery fully discharged then i repair the battery charger uh, so now it is fully charged i can use that charger main power supply fuse filtration bridge circuit rectifiers transformer power board ac to dc adapter charger you can say it also this is ac 220 volts output is 42 volt for power board here is alternating current here is direct input section and this is output section both are isolated so in between there is transformer it has two coils one is primary one is secondary and one is here in the primary side there is auxiliary power supply to supply our component for the initial source starter but both are isolated if you can see here there is no connection in between this supply at separate electrical circuit by means of light optical interface so both supplies are separate in between this optical coupler so it is for regulating the voltage it is sensing the output voltage then through light adjustment done by this one this pwm this is switching this mosfet and then it is changing the frequency opto coupler also known as i opto isolator so it consists of led light that produce infrared led light and a semiconductor photosensitive device that is used to detect the emitted infrared beam both the led and photosensitive device are enclosed in a light tight body package with with a metal leg for the electronic connections here you can you can see two legs this side two legs this side one side is led and other side is photosensitive device led is on the dc power supply and photosensitive on the ac power so when the led beam will come inside this black box and then photo sensor will detect and it will give signal to, to this ic this one is very simple power supply i have other power supplies same like this uh, smps those are little different so here you can see here they add some more components not available in this one now you can see i keep here four power supply this is 42 volt this is also 42 volt this is having multiple outputs multiple outputs all working principle is same but some are using less component some are using more components all four are isolated power supply you can see this one coils not available here here also not available what they done here they provide two jumpers what is the purpose of this one i will explain okay here fuse available plus this component is available but here only fuse available 
here only this component is available remaining the remove here you can see these components this one but in this power supply it is not available so filtration process also little difference is there you see this one this is for high load multiple outputs also this ampere is our um, this ampere is more so this also having the function is same but according to the load it is designed now i will show you the components uh, and the, how it is working and what is the purpose why it is not available here here not available so why available here and here available so i will sh show you okay i will keep only two power supply with me the remaining uh, are same i will remove these two power supplies no, i will so how you can test the power supply okay first initially when you plug in so uh, i am uh, working uh, without power so only for demonstration first you plug the power here to 20 volt then be careful and check here put the put your meter change your meter to 1000 volts or if 500 range you can check and here you will check the 220 volt coming or not coming i am working off, off, offline you will not get so first you will check here 220 volt then you can see from this side it is connected with fuse and this is the fuse outlet so you will check here like this here and here if again electricity passing from the fuse here you will get 120 volts after that this power supply and the this power supply phase and neutral it is going to the rectifier okay this is bridge circuit it is going to the bridge circuit and outside of the bridge circuit we are getting the 220 volts so the this is the initial test okay also i will show you if your supply is dead how you can check first your fuse blown this uh, raster uh, mov is connected parallel with the power supply so it is a combination of two diodes it is uh, used for to avoid the high voltage surge normally it is having resistance but when any surge is occurs here power surge it short the circuit okay then the downside of the power supply will not affect with high volt surge surge and also there is some other components are there uh, because it is it will ground the phase to the neutral so other components are there they will protect the remaining circuit so this is for to avoid the high voltage surge this two capacitors most common fault in the power supply this capacitor if these capacitors are short you can check how to check this one remove this capacitor from the circuit chart the both legs and what is the value written on this one check with the your multimeter put on capacitor and check uh, this one is uh, 0.1 uf so it should be same if it is short then you have to change this capacitor if these capacitors are short you will find like this one beep like this one beep then you check uh, remove this capacitor and check if this is short you will find a continuity but there is no continuity so put your meter, multimeter on capacitor and check the return value and the value your multimeter is showing it should be same. Sometimes there is a phase present in the chassis. So this means these capacitors are short. So again with the multimeter remove this capacitor and check. If these capacitors are short then this means phase available in the chassis. So you have to change these capacitors. After that you need to check this main capacitor. Remove this capacitor and check with the meter. If this capacitor is short, so this is filtering capacitor, then you need to change this capacitor. Only one by one we will check one by one all the components. And check here if you if there is a continuity. So this means this MOSFET is short. This is the MOSFET, this is short. This is used for the switching that's why it's called switch mode power supply this is called for the switching on off on off on off and in some power supplies this 
MOSFET is not available it is like this IC is available SMPS uh, power supplies that, that means this SMPS IC is short after that we need to check the rectifiers these four diodes are here this is bridge circuit ok how to check this one just put one lead to the capacitor one side one to the power supply I'll show you on the meter capacitor and and the power supply not showing anything other side so not showing anything now change the terminal negative here then positive so it will show you like this about 600 now we will check the other two diodes positive terminal here and AC power supply is showing about 570 other side also showing 570 okay now change the terminal negative to the capacitor and then positive to the AC power supply so there is no continuity so this means our diodes are okay you can see if one side negative here positive to AC supply is not showing is showing negative to the capacitor and positive to the power supply AC power supply neutral and phase it's showing some continuity but the if you change the polarity positive here and negative to the power supply is also not showing anything if it is showing any resistance here so this means these two diode one of the diode is bad you can check one by one same like this no continuity and like this continuity if this side also is showing continuity this means there is diode that is bad so either you can check diode one by one like this keep your multimeter on diode mode and positive and negative is showing continuity but if you check reverse side it, will, it is not showing anything if it is giving some beep like this this means diode is short so one by one you can check all the diodes after that uh, you can check this small capacitor it is connected with the main supply here from here it is connected here after that it is going here and here you can see I can show you so this capacitor we need to check remove and check the capacitor uh, put your meter on capacitor and uh, check this one this is connected with the main supply and from the other side it is connected here from here it is going and in series there is two resistance after the resistance this power supply go to this IC uh, this IC is for the regulating the switching of the MOSFET so if output of this resistance there is no supply so this means for soft startup there is no power supply to the, this IC so this your system will not give output voltage this IC in startup it will not get any power supply this IC is actually normally getting two power supply one is from main power supply and second from the auxiliary power supply second from the auxiliary power supply this is the function of this capacitor and this resistor so you should get constant voltage out of this resistor if there is fluctuation then change this capacitor if there is no voltage this means this resistor is open is not giving initial power supply soft supply to this IC after that we will check optocoupler simply just remove this optocoupler ok and check the main capacitor if supply is fluctuating so if there is fluctuation outlet power supply 
mint paste or the paste here if there is voltage fluctuation so this means there is fault in this area downside or optocoupler so for one by one we will check how uh, which area is faulty optocoupler faulty means it is not giving feedback to this ic so it is not controlling the pwm for this mosfet okay when this pulse is not controlled so this power supply will fluctuate and output dc voltage will fluctuate for that purpose we need to check this one and one by one other things i will show you how so first test is just remove this optocoupler and fix here one diode okay now what it will do it will give the fix output to this ic pwm control ic it will control the mosfet and with stabilized voltage because it is giving the out input source for this ic from the output voltage if this is less and more then this is giving me feedback to this ic and controlling the pwm for this mosfet so just fix one diode here and check you will get a constant voltage before we know there was fluctuation in the voltage so with this diode if there is constant voltage coming so this means our this area is okay so in this way after disconnecting this one and putting one diode here you are getting here voltage but it is stable stable voltage so where is the problem this area is okay so problem is in this area because if we are getting more than the desired voltage for this it is designed so we will get here more more supply more voltage the easiest way after removing this one put here diode give power supply in series or parallel only just few second and then remove the power supply after that touch this area this diodes this capacitor resistance then you will find it is heat up so which component it is heat up just change that component this is a very easy way to change this one okay after changing even though if this you are getting more voltage then the problem is this so you need to change this this is also same lm358 uh, for this pwm so, so this is the power supply for the hoover board so you can repair like this for the other side i have another detailed video thanks for watching please subscribe